most unique traits almost all villains in the Arrowverse have is there's some sort of staying power. And no matter how many times you think they are gone, done, and dusted, they are coming back to the Arrowverse in one way or another by some miracle or a loophole that Team Flash never managed to see. And today, we are going to talk about just that, some of the Flash villains who are still lurking in the Arrowverse. Enjoy! Black Flash Before being Black Flash, Hunter Zolomon, aka Zoom, was the speedster that wanted to destroy the multiverse before it was even cool, the first one with the idea like that. And lucky for him, this version of the multiverse, combining all universes together into one big universe, was realized by the Anti-Monitor. Zoom was not all about stealing Barry's power, the whole universe was at stake. When the Crisis on Infinite Earths happens, the whole Zoom storyline changes, opening so many exciting possibilities. We know from Sisko's timeline that he plans on bringing many metahumans to fight Barry and defeat him, through what might be thought of as a singularity in the timeline. All of you will feel my wrath. Team Flash was strong enough to defeat him. However, we still don't know what happened to him because he never got killed, but rather, captured yet again by the Time Wraths. Yes, there is a high chance of him being turned again into the Black Flash, the speedster who serves the Speed Force and is responsible to capture anyone who messes with the timeline. But this does not mean that he is necessarily gone. And like we said before, if there is any sort of time paradox or alteration in time, and there will be for sure, the series' one focus points is time itself. We will see Black Flash yet again in the future of the series. After all, he is the Chief Time Wrath, and this twisted version of Hunter Solomon is bound to appear again in the CW series The Flash, as one of the villains who are still lurking somewhere in the Arrowverse. He is the villain that changed how things are now in the entire Arrowverse after the crisis happened. Grodd One of the most on-again, off-again villains of the series, besides the Reverse Flash, has to be Gorilla Grodd. And many fans are waiting for him to be the one to take all the evil accomplishments at once. But so far, that was not the case. One of the closest things to this was his combat with King Shark. But when compared to the comic book Gorilla Grodd, who is way more sinister than the one in the CW series, we still have so much left of him to prove. And on top of things, we are also led to believe that he is some sort of a good guy? Well, don't be the one who will take this for granted. He is a mastermind, and many pointers go to him as it is believed that he used the Flash to defeat a more significant threat than the Scarlet Speedster himself. And when he wanted to live out his days in the Gorilla City, things didn't go according to his plan. The show writers seem to love him so much, giving him many exits throughout the series, but always managing to bring him back in one way or another, even if it is for one episode or two. And when we look at the character, there are a lot of potentials for him, especially now that Earth-38 is fused with Earth-1. We could see a more realized version of the Legion of Doom and having him be the focus point for a while, as he tries to get a seat at the table. Trickster I told everyone inside I'd let them live if they followed my instructions, but I tricked them, which is so me. One of the many villains listed in Cisco's Most Wanted book is the Trickster, and many were surprised to see him there in the first place. What this means for the character, well, when the whole Trickster family was left, they were all in shambles, separated. This more or less different version from the Joker, we all know so well, the Trickster is somehow bound to appear anytime soon and having him in the series will make some shifts from the often serious storyline. There is still place for him in the Central City, even if for one episode cameo. We think that we will all be satisfied with that, right? We all know that there was a classic version of the Trickster making all sorts of chaos on Earth-3. However, we are not sure of what just happened to him after the whole crisis. Maybe he moved to Earth-1 and created a darker version of Axel Walker the one who might have gotten the torch passed down to as the next trickster. You know, the one character with a shade of blonde hair at the front and the black diamond eye mask? Yeah, that one. Thus, the second coming trickster might be appearing in the series sooner than you expected. The pranks are there to continue, don't you think? Blood work. For the last time, 
I am trying to save everyone. The blood work we saw in the season 6 of the show was not that disappointing to be honest, but he was only a half season villain. He somehow got the same treatment as Dr. Alchemy. And if we are asked if he deserves more time on the big screen to build some more momentum for the character and see his true powers, as for his actual powers as a villain, the show managed to deliver. They did an excellent job making him a huge threat with his zombie army. Dr. Ramsey was also able to deliver an emotional blow to Team Flash, which was a huge change because we never got to see anything of the sort from the previous villain of the show in the fifth season, Rampage, and he was captured and not destroyed. Which, when you take a look back, is not a really common thing the show has done with the villains in the series. He also came to play during the second half of the season 6, after being offered a chance to escape by Mirror Iris, but not taking it. He also mentioned something about playing the long game, an exact line from the character, a very weird thing to say when you are facing a particular situation of your banishment. Maybe this was the way in which producers wanted to say to us that they are not done yet with this villain. Weather Wizard decide if I should kill everybody down there with a deadly hailstorm or, a little trickier, with acid rain. What do you think? And last but not least, we just have to give an appreciation time to one of the first villains of the show, who made yet another appearance in the show during season 6, the Weather Wizard. A pleasant surprise to say the least, seeing one of the first villains of Barry making a return to the scene. And in the whole encounter, we also got to see the whole drama involving Weather Witch too which was a nice touch and worth the wait. This is what we are hoping to see with every villain on this list, making some kind of return in the show because all of them are not quite written off completely. They are somewhere lurking in the Arrowverse, a kind of return that genuinely matters even if it is just for one episode. Weather Wizard is back in some capacity and we know that he is somewhere in Iron Heights, and it is not a highly likely scenario when his return is considered. But the last thing we can do is hope. And we can say for all of us that the main reason we want to see Weather Wizard make a return is because of what he symbolizes. He proved to be the benchmark for Barry's power, and it would be a good thing if he would be there in the future to measure his powers yet again. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, which of these villains would you like to see make an entrance next in the future of the series, and why? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.